These were some of the best highlights from today's matchup at the Swiss stage of Worlds 2024. Excellent position to be in. Wave in a neutral state, forcing Light and Chris to push out if they want to come down. But Genji, so quick to take these early objectives. And I think the introduction of Grubbs, just a big buff to Callista because she's so good at securing and taking those neutral objectives. Now Pays, though, really wants that farm, is not certain if this fight is going to take off or not. Canyon smiting the last one away, trying to get the hell out. Get away from Xiao, who is the calling is there. Shields are there. Chovy ready to body block, but they force Canyon's flash at the very least. They get the super mega death rocket out from Light as well. Genji have already reset their bottom lane, all ready to fight back at least a little bit. Nice engage Crisp. now coming in. Crisp in trouble. Aftershock fading oh, away. That dead. poppy is dead. Well played by Gen G. Crisp isolated in the river. Control on all these objectives. You know the Callista Renata is going to be stronger earlier on, but you still had to navigate the map state well to be able to leverage the advantage. I just like the way in which they, they save this bot lane pick for last because it's their bridge into the late game, right? I say, but it, I yeah. That, I don't know if I agree with that no, statement. No, I, I think it is. <laughs> I, it's the most reliable uh, piece is Crisp. Whips his ult. See? Callista <laughs> more reliable. Daisy called out. Four Grubs already picked up. Lahens ulting over the wall. That's going to be big. Paired beautifully with the rubble, but two quick flashes out from Weibo means they're going to still be standing. Crisp, isolated, but now the TP coming in from behind with Breathe. The Jax could be big here. Canyon caught out for a brief moment, but they're instantly turning back onto Breathe. Breathe ulting to get a little bit of extra tankiness, but Light still untouched for now. Chovy coming in. Mom called. First kill picked up. Rocket going a little bit wide as Chovy tries to flap out to safety. How much left on the Counter Strike? Breathe. Can he continue to chase? The answer is no, but two for two, the overall kill score. Knockback still coming through as Tarzan not quite able to find the root, but Chow who's starting the objective here. Chu doing no damage. It's really hit there as Chovy just continues to stack and Genji will be able to at least threaten this tower. You can see in the meantime, Canyon happy to just start up this objective. They already got one Drake, willing to concede the Herald it would seem. But interestingly, you can see the gold in our lane economy snapshot. Uh, it's not a massive difference between either side, but Gold slightly favoring the side of Weibo overall. I told you, when we hyped up this jungle matchup, it was always going to be a battle of the minds. Oh, I like this. Brush setup is good as well. Should just be able to break this one down. And they TP bot Are they going to go that wave? Or is Light just using this as an escape taxi? I think he's just going out. On the side lane, two items almost completed here. And six scrubs does mean that Keen is going to be able to grab that bot lane tower at a much faster pace, get reset first. But Xiaohu, instead of trying to delete the tower immediately, uh, just trying to deny as much CS as possible from Chovy. An interesting game state is just cross maps continue to come through. Both these teams just kind of waiting for those spikes. This game just keeping control of these side lanes. The Jax continues to mount pressure in the top side of the map. Smolder is actually going to go on and to that. And Genji in a bit of an awkward position here. Callisto only has one and a half items. Light technically ahead. Yes, he has gone for two components, the Zeal and the Last Whisper, but feeling pretty confident in that item advantage. We go. TP the going in. Through. Chovy is here. But in the meantime, Breathe is going to start pushing. Does have a TP of his own. Will show up on the bottom side of the map, waiting in the brush. Genji do spot him. Are they going to collapse? Are they going to go for the 50-50? Knockback coming in. Chris channeling that ultimate. Will get the jungler out of the pit. Now they can just burst it and go for it. It's not even going to be a 50-50. Rumble ult is solid. Mom called in, but it might not matter. Dragon taken. We will need to get out, though. Xiaohu low. Healing coming in for the redemption. Gen G, do they still want this fight? Breathe into the back line. Pays. Now going to be in trouble. Knockback coming in. Lahens now trying to send out the hostile takeover, but it's only going to connect onto the jacks. Breathe likely to fall here, but the rest of Weibo now ready to follow up. Pays getting one. No kill going over. It means no reset for the Jinx quite yet. They're desperate to get something else for light. Chris knocked down into the wall. Canyon going back through, healing up off the passive, his clutch as light, no mana, but still wants to keep hitting, handshake not going to connect, Xiaohu finishing the first kill, reset coming in, Genji backing away, but the Drake going to Weibo. Alongside Breathe, who just keep this pressure up, meanwhile Light is soaking up every single wave in mid, he's also being donated farm from his jungler, like, the in the carries across the board. Get push first, Weibo in a very commanding position, recalls are now being forced out, luckily, Genji have decent vision around the objective, but Crisp kind of shepherding them, like a border collie up towards the top side of the map as Ooh. Lahan's getting lower and lower. Rocket hit stops the recall. Weibo in such a good position. Redemption forcing a flash. <laughs> They're being herded. Weibo. The TP's going to come out from the smolder as well. Now, 
I do wonder if Weibo are overstepping here. Looks like they will be fine, yeah, okay. I was worried because with Breathe going to the top lane and Jinji actually having an opportunity to reset after all that pressure, there was a world where Jinji could then look for an engage. But I say that this is their window, so now they're setting up for the Baron. And they're going for this now, knowing that someone really should probably try to pick up that farm on the bottom wave. It will cost Weibo to be here, to be present in this play. Poppy all gonna be big. Canyon, nice oh. W, twisted advance, keeping him in the play. They just need to finish the objective. They just need to get the Baron down and they will do so. Breathe, now in no man's land. Ulti now used by the Callista. Breathe locked up for a brief moment, trying to find the sun, trying to find the angle, flashing out to safety. Calling from Xiaohu, doing a whole hell of a lot of damage as Tarzan tries to chase. But Toby, crucially untouched, flashing from Chris, trying to finish the job. The bailout there, but the bailout is not enough. Breathe, still going. Xiaohu, flashing in with full confidence. But Chovy is alive, looking for the resets. Tarzan now trying to get the hell out. Chovy looking to finish one more kill. Canyon going to get the job done. Weibo with a man advantage, four to three overall. The fight calming down. Genji just want to get the hell out with their Baron buffs. Maybe grab mid lane tower on the way. A lot on the line here. You want to be 1-0. You want to find that advantage. Get out as quick as you can. Remember, three and you're in. Lose three oh, and you're out. Wow. A great ulti oh, kicking things wow. out. Tarzan caught. Beautiful layering of the CC. And now Genji set up on this next tower. Knockback from Chris. Not really going to connect. Does force the ult out from Pays at the very least. But this Red Bull Baron power play only growing more and more in the favor of Gen G. I mean, Gen G figured out the formula. Just stack enough ults and you'll force an engage eventually. Really nice use of the Rumble ultimate with the Maokai ult. Breathe on the sideline, gonna knock down this tier two, but... TP now coming in from Xiaohu as well, wants to TP is behind them. flanking Lucian? Yes, sir, it is. Sampling he's spotted in the bush. out on a ward, they Ward's, know he is there. This is incredibly here awkward. Here comes Breathe as Breathe well. Breathe here too. Genji actually have to be careful though. Their TP's coming in, but it's gonna be a little bit late. If Weibo can... First draw on the fight, they might be able to get something done, but now it's Keen behind, behind them. Light gonna be the one in trouble. Hostile takeover coming in, just barely gonna clip them. Shutdown is big. Keep in mind that Smolder's been stacking this entire time. 400 for Chovy. Bree trying to get in the mix. Wants to finish off that dragon, but he doesn't have the damage. Double kill from Chovy. Weibo sent packing. Hot. As Genji... Oh, Chovy. Xiaohu, nice backstep. Chovy trying to finish, can't get too low. Ooh. One dash, one auto, but there's Pace! <laughs> he the gets the shutdown onto Xiaohu. They got to see the formula of how this comp wants to work, and it's basically just R, 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 R. Yeah. <laughs> Not the normal, <laughs> like, Malphite, you know, Jarvan, whatever, but yeah. it's a little bit more range to it, but still but, you works know, very you well. You throw the Maokai ultimate, and then you the Rumble ultimate slows you down. Again, well. only continuing to stack, only getting scarier and scarier. And Ulti here it comes, comes again. From Canyon. If anyone tries to walk up, things are going to get dicey fast. There's that combination. This time they didn't commit Keen's ulti. They'll be happy with the objective, though. Crisp eating about 400 damage just to try to walk up there. In favor of Weibo for a brief moment. They're now trying to use it to collapse onto Lehens. Lehens flashing out. Tarzan flashing in. Hostile takeover is there, but Breeze still onto the back line. Going to be forced to use the ulti out from Pays. Buys a bit more time. Reset is there. Hostile takeover didn't do much, but now Breathe in the midst of the entire team is still about to get shredded. But finally, Lehens will drop light on the backside. The resets are starting to come in. Chris still standing for an extra moment here. The knockback is there, but down goes the tank. Xiaohu finding the kill. Pays, Chovy, Keen still standing. Looking to push Weibo back. A two for two thus far. The slow on to Xiaohu from the Maokai is crucial. Even from the Grave Canyon having that impact. And G betting. Maybe not everything, but a whole hell of a lot on this play. Xiao Xiao now in the midst, trying to get a bit more damage. Now flash in from Pace. Keen going gold, and Xiao needs to get the hell away. Pace just running him down in the 1v1. But now it's Chovy and Pace, the 2v2. And we just keep going. That wave, Crisp trying to capitalize on it. Extra movement speed coming in. Chovy standing behind Zlahans as he's once again vulnerable, but Pace is there to try to save him. Angle coming in for the knockback. Poppy gonna find one. Chovy out of the fight immediately. Weibo turned back to the objective. They want to try and They're force down this Baron. this Baron. A bold move, but it's melting with double 80 carries. Canyon, can he get into the pit? Ulti coming in. 5k getting lower and lower. This Maokai wants to try and steal it away, but no. Tarzan finds the angle. However, Crisp already going down. Breathe off on the flank, hoping to find an angle into this fight. All of Weibo retreating. Genji might not have gotten the objective, but it looks like they're taking control thus far. Breathe instantly into the back line. Jax finding the knockup on the two. The stun, excuse me, as we continue the fight, but off the side, it's Chovy finally getting involved again. The Execute's coming in. He's just sneezing on him, but it's not enough to get the job done. Light still standing. Pays still standing. It's a hot mess. Weibo down a man, but up a Baron. And wow, what a back and forth. The craziest thing about that last team fight, Daisy got a three-man knockout. Yes. Like, it was... <laughs> <laughs> I really hope we get to see a replay of that one. Right, so he may just find himself deep. Speaking of the CC, there's the ultis stacked on top of each other. Yahoo going back immediately. Mikhail's getting used. Genji breaking down a tier two. 
decent position. If they can force another fight where the Mikhail's isn't available, that much more of an advantage. Flash out from Crisp. Now it's Genji who have main control over this river. They have no way to get in here. Weibo have to force, and again, whoever has to force, very likely to lose Calista the fight. Rend. TP flank, they know that it's coming. Breathe on the way in. Rumble equalizer not doing much. Gets a bit of space for Chris. Pay starting to step up. Ulti coming in from Chobi. Hops will take over big. Light immediately going to cleanse, so doesn't want to give too much. Pay trying to get into the back line, trying to make sure that Light doesn't have any room to work. And already the Elder is taken down, and instantly, in the blink of an eye, 44 minutes in, it's an ace for Gen G as they look to close it out here. Mom and Dad just melt away Weibo as the Elder was enough to secure the the fight stuff the confidence from gen g finding that window of opportunity keen a quiet hero across the game forcing breathe back giving them the ability to start that major objective the first lpl lck matchup might have favored the lpl but this one going in the favor of gen g as they take down weibo a close back and forth these were some of the best highlights from today's matchup at the swiss stage of worlds 2024 which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.